Captain America throws his mighty shield. All those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. It is led to a fight and a duel is due to the red. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crate video here on Past Easter Skin, and guess what we have? Loot Crate DX. Look at this damn thing. I said the last one was massive. This one, I, I don't, you can't see table anymore. There's just box. It's all box. So much box. What's inside the box? Well, good question. Let's find out. Uh, uh, this thing is huge. So let's see if we can actually get this thing open. All right. Uh, you have to just kind of get in underneath here and pop the little bit of paper that blocks our view. Okay. Get that off. All right. So what have we got in here? I suppose we're going with the biggest thing in the box, and we'll take it out to the wide. Oh! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome to another Loot Crate video. This is Loot Crate DX, and this is huge. As usual, they um, are a little bit bigger and <laughs> heavier and more intense than what we normally have. And this one is pretty cool. Check it out. Diecast Metal Marvel characters. It's uh, a bit super deformed, but it is actually one of the Iron Man suits. Oh, wait, does this light up too? Huh, hang on. Let's take a better look at it inside the tighter view. So, yeah, die-cast metal Iron Man. I, this will look awesome on the shelf. Um, I expect many cool figures from this series. I don't know if I was expecting... I'm not expecting ones from old, from older themed shows. This is actually an Iron Man 2 themed figure, so I'm a little bit annoyed at the fact that it's not one concurrent with the most recent movies because it's not as cool as being in, in the new movies and much more likely to be a remaindered item from an older run of toys uh let's see mark five units what other ones were actually available in this like check this out this is all the ones that were available in the series there was two deadpools iron man mark two captain america so black panther th these are obviously actually made these are modern made ones all right can you see all the ones that are actually listed in the back are all Civil War figures? Or Deadpool, because it's the most recent release. So this is actually purposefully the Iron Man 2 suit, just for the fact that they're doing it for marketing. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we need to get ourselves into this box. It's actually pretty well sealed. Yeah, that one's popped. Maybe there's still a little more. There we go. All those are popped. Now we can actually get into the thing. So you want to actually get a look and see what the quality of the figure is, really. That's what the whole point of grabbing it out of the boxes are. What the hell? Were we meant to open it from the bottom? I just realized that because the box actually has a kind of like awkward shape. So it is actually meant to be opened from the bottom. Well, that's stupid of me. Should have noticed that whenever I put in with it. It's just the fact that I'm here on front of the camera, so I'm of course going to make mistakes like that. But we'll get over it. We'll survive. Um, okay, there's actually like instructions for us. Ah, right, so it needs uh, two batteries for the light up system on it. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, wow, there is a lot. This is actually glued in and tied. This is a lot of work to get it out of it. Oh, right, fair enough. I've already, I've committed, so I'll have to finish it off, shouldn't I? I just wish I would be able to. I wish I had scissors just on hand to be able to pop this. Hmm. That's annoying. Alright, on. Done. This makes you think that you're not meant to ever take this figure out of the damn box, which is. Oh, it annoys the hell out of me because I don't think that's the way figures should actually be made for. They should be made to be put aside and never to be looked at and used or enjoyed by anyone. I mean, I collected figures when I was a kid and kept them in boxes. I regret the hell of it because there was some cool shit that I could have played with and then whenever it was not my time to hold on to them anymore I could have passed them on to nieces and nephews. Instead I had them sitting around and then I sold them for like cents on the dollar kind of thing with um, comic books, local independent comic book stores. And um, that was a terrible idea. I mean, statuettes I can understand a little bit more so because they're not really things that you play with or you can actually enjoy as a kid. But um, figures, definitely. Let's come on. Whew, that was a battle and a half. So yeah, it's actually kind of nice background for it. Uh, if you look at the inside of the box, it actually has like a the Iron Man Museum kind of going around in the background of it. But this is a fairly hefty toy. Wow. It doesn't hips actually move. Oh shit. <laughs> so it actually does the chest lights up. Uh, uh, uh. See a better look at it. 
arms pose, do they? No. See, they look articulated. Like the body parts all look like they're articulated, but they don't seem to want to move in any way, shape, or form. So, I don't know if this is actually a movable figure. Doesn't imply so. Well, there you go. There's a new statuette figure for the wall. I wonder where he's going to go. Maybe we can go down behind our guys from Firefly for just a moment. Until I figure out something better to do with the size of the figure. Those bigger ones, they can, like, they can stand at the back and be behind some of the other bigger ones, or the smaller figures. So, uh, yeah. Who is this from? Bill Diecast from... Is this Marvel themselves that made this? No, Jada. It's a Jada figure. Well, it's fair play. Jada, that was actually cool and interesting, but I uh, would rather them be a little bit more play, playable, something that you can actually use. Um, that's big enough that if you, a child dropped that, it wouldn't break, but it would also probably crack their skull, but if a child dropped it on our child or swung it at them, that's pretty hefty. So that must be the majority of the weight of this box. So let's find out what else is in here. Oh, ah. Okay, cool. Captain America throws his mighty shield. Oh, okay. New baseball cap. Um, yeah, the last time I got a baseball cap, it was from uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And it fit my head better than this one. I don't know. I'm not too sure about this. I mean, it, it, I'm almost sure, like, most baseball caps with snipbacks or snapback hats just do not fit my head, um, just in general, because they always feel like they sit really too high above my ears, my ears are too big, so yeah, I probably never wear this, but I like the look of the hat, it's a pretty nice one, it's Captain America style, so I'm assuming it's Marvel official, yeah, Marvel merchandise, with a Loot Crate exclusive and all that kind of crack, Marvel label, one size fits most, <laughs> so whenever they made me, they broke the mold. What else we got in here? Right. Ah, okay. Street Fighter Academy. That's... Alright. A Street Fighter duffel bag. Um... Yeah. That's... A duffel bag, alright. I kinda like it. I get the. Would help. The only thing is with duffel bags like this is that I like them, but they need to have a board base. That's uh, that. That is like the one thing that makes these usable or unusable to me. If they don't have any shape of their own, which is annoying as fuck. So um, this gets a maximum loss, zero mark on me because as much as I like a basic design, and so that has a really cool logo in the front of it, that is pretty shit. What does it have in the front of it? It actually has a Hadouken down, down right forward punch. Established 1987, Street Fighter Academy. This feels like a non-official piece of merchandise. Uh, just by the design and everything else in it, this is really not... I mean, that strap is tiny as well. That is a tiny strap. Like that, this is a sports bag for your gym wear. Um, if anything, I I wouldn't I wouldn't keep cables in this. I wouldn't use any equipment in this. I would. This is going to be a gift to somebody. Like that. That's that's pretty much it. I would never ever use this bag, which is really disappointing. You know, I'm not, I'm not too fussing that. I mean, Street Fighter is all getting grand. Um, great series, but that has little to no relevance to it other than the fact that it's using a dragon punch in it like that's that's not actually that pretty cool let's see what else we got in here oh we got a t-shirt so out to the wide for the t-shirt what have we got what a piece of clothing is this Ooh. okay cool <laughs> all right masters of the universe themed a long sleeve shirt in gray with skeletor Ah, yes indeed. This is a good shot. <laughs> yeah, that's just <laughs> pretty cool. I can get behind that. Um, I will happily wear a Skeletor t-shirt. Material-wise, it feels very thin. It's definitely a summer weave of a shirt. And um, stitching looks all right. It's like, it feel, the material feels very soft. It feels a bit more terry clothish than just cotton. Um, let me see, what is it? And it's a polyester cotton blend. Hmm. 
Well, I imagine this would actually shrink a wee bit in the wash, but this feels like a fairly light, over-the-top uh, grey shirt for the summer. I'll actually, I'll wear, I'll wear that. I think I'm. The box has improved mightily by this, but um, wearables, t-shirts, doesn't feel. I mean, this is actually a good quality, really nice quality top. Uh, the print looks really cool. It's a unique print on it, but uh, it doesn't have that same feel as uh, being a DX item. That's. A nice t-shirt no but you'd find that i'd actually rather have that in my as my wearable for this month than the wearable that came out so um the answer really disappoint me here on the second crate like i mean if you're like if there was this being like crates down the line and this was a good disappointment when they came out fine but not if it's actually this close to the beginning all right so there's not that much left in here they're all like kind of little bits so let's take a look um first things first we have uh, the loot pin for this month May power pin. So it's still, eh, I was wondering there why it actually had double back in it, but pow. And uh, of course, Stan the Man Lee appearing on the front of it. That's all right. Um, I mean, Stan, Stan the Man, fair play to him. Uh, what else have we got in here? We have a art print, I believe. Okay, so an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. art print for the Hulk, which is, pretty I mean art prints are nice but when they're bagged and boarded I expect them to be like sealed because uh, I've made the mistake before of opening them and taking them out oh wait hang on this is by the way I can feel it it feels like it glows in the dark so it's a glow in the dark print I mean we can't really test it uh, so that's two in a row have glow in the dark items in it uh, first it was our glow-in-the-dark Finn and Jake, which doesn't really look like Finn and Jake, it just looks like a green amorphous blob because there's no colour and detailing on it. And then we got this, which is a glow-in-the-dark print of the Incredible Hulk. And then we have, of course have our leaflet that comes with the Loot Crate DX. This is a really, really disappointing box, especially considered the, for the, the Founder's Box. I mean, a Founder's Box is a Founder's Box which you hope they get it really right, but the Founders Box felt like a much more mature and um, interesting objects that actually felt like they had like a, a, an intrinsic value based on them. This is a, it's just a normal Loot Crate box with uh, a heavier toy or a, like made out of metal and everything else in it feels like a normal Loot Crate. They, they really need to distinguish themselves separately from the ordinary Loot Crate and do something better. So, what we have here is a six inch light up Iron Man figure, the POW um, pin, Excelsior, and all that. Uh, Captain America snapback hat, Hulk lithograph, uh, exclusive scale to our long sleeve performance shirt, and a Street Fighter duffel bag. And that is it. What the fuck, we create? I mean, not just uh, is this box unbelievably late for me. It's also a pile of garbage. This is really bad. This, this is like, cancel your subscription bad. This is Burger King hat blew up uh, thingy How bad. This is awful. So where, 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 did the, where did the quality choice of items, where did the, um, the more mature tone, where did all of that go? Because this is, seriously, this literally is just a giant box for a normal loot crate. Nothing in here is anything that I I would have, like the value of this box, I would count as much less than the value paid for the theme of power and the licenses that you had. Shit, if you'd even gone as far as getting an old school Heroes of the Ma Masters of the Universe lunchbox, that was like a tin lunchbox, that would actually, people would have used that as a storage box and that would have been pretty funny. Um, Getting something that was actually Street Fighter designed, like Capcom designed, rather than this piece of travesty, which is, I mean, I'm sure it's by your look, your own in, uh, in artist, and which is a nice piece of art, but it smacks of something that isn't officially licensed in any way, shape, or form. I mean, is there anything on this to tag it to say it's Capcom licensed? No? And your Marvel stuff? Uh, this lithograph is a lithograph grand? It's not worth anything. It's a printout that 
is in a plastic bag, an unfitting plastic bag with a piece of cardboard backing. This is like, even the presentation on this is terrible. The snapback, the Captain America emblem on it, the blue, sim simple blue of Captain America emblem. The Captain America emblem is stitched on rather than actually even stitched in. Yeah, it's stitched on. It's a patch. That's a, that's a patch onto the actual hat. So it's a plain blue with a patch. The, the, that one that you had for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure was much better. This is terrible. I'm not even going to wear that. And Stan Lee's POW Entertainment. So this was a sponsored pin. This is Stan Lee's POW Entertainment pin. This isn't a Loot Crate pin. So what, what, what were we thinking? That's disappointing, man. <sighs> well, what else have I got to say? Um, that was Loot Crate DX. Of course, they don't do... The Loot Crate DX doesn't have anything that you can hold up or anything. It's just a big, unwieldy box. Um, yeah. I think, I think we may have to have a rethink of supporting Loot Crate DX. It's not, it's not a, it, it, that's a terrible box. Tell me more about what's going to be happening. I will happily follow your survey for this one and tell you how bad it was. This was awful. It was really, really late. It's not very good quality. The items themselves, all right. The bag is a good quality bag, but the branding and theming on it and power, no, nothing. Um, the Iron Man figure, weighty, but completely non-articulated. And just stands there as a statue. If you're going to go for the um, action figures, if you're going to go for a big quality action figure, get the ones with high articulation, the ones with like 50, 60 points of articulation, so you can get people striking poses with them and using them with other figures. Go for the Marvel Legends series, which are reasonably cheap. That's... That's terrible. I honestly, um, look great. Do you feel this? So, go back to the drawing board and think it again. I suppose I'll see you guys in the next video because there's not much to really kind of be joyous about. Um, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. This video has been a bit pastiche of skin loot crate video. I feel deflated. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the dislike button, hit the like button, whatever the hell you feel like. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.